channel. I cannot believe I am sitting down filming my October favorites because that means that it is now November and oh my gosh, please let me know that I'm not the only one excited about Christmas because I know there's Thanksgiving but I'd rather be Christmas already. And I also already want to put up my Christmas decorations. So you guys are probably going to get like a Christmas home tour really soon because I'm like itching to just get everything out. So anyways, under this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I've been loving for the month of October. So I have a few things like from skincare and hair, but definitely have a handful of makeup here that I want to share with you guys. I have some planner goodies and I also want to talk about my favorite TV shows at the moment because it seemed like you guys really enjoyed that last time. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start off with skincare since I only have two to share. So this first one is from It Cosmetics. It's the Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I absolutely love this product. I use it pretty much every single day and I'm actually almost out of it. I've, I've hit the bottom. That's for sure so you can see right there and it is a balm product so you take just like a little scoop of it not really I use a lot um, when I use this so once you put it on your face it starts to melt even if you kind of have it sitting there it'll kind of melt on its own but when you're starting to like rub it in it melts and it also melts your makeup off so it's really awesome it takes everything off you can even kind of get it around your eye area and it for me, it doesn't hurt my eyes, so I like how this is pretty gentle. Um, and yeah, it just really cleans everything off. Like, I tried it out on Snapchat to really see if it did that. So after doing that, I took a makeup wipe and like wiped my face with the makeup wipe and looked at it and there was barely any makeup left. So I'm very impressed with this product. I love it a lot. I'm definitely going to repurchase it and I highly recommend it for you guys. Another skincare product I've been loving is from Soap and Glory and this is the Puffy Eye Attack Hydrogel Tuber Boost. I've been using this every single day and I feel like it has helped my under eye area. I was starting to get a little bit of darkness down there and this I feel like it has helped. So I really have been enjoying it. It feels really nice on your skin. It sinks in right away. Again, it is like a hydrogel so it feels like you're applying water onto your face. It comes in a little tub like this. It's super cute and as you can see, I have used it quite a bit. I'm like halfway through it already. Like I love this product so much. Really, I can just sit there and like apply it over and over. It just feels so good. So I highly recommend it. I actually got mine at Walgreens, you guys. Did you guys know that? Like they carry Soap and Glory, Pure Cosmetics, The Balm, um, Galactic, I think, Galactica, Galactic. Um, they also have, what else is there? Benefit, like I didn't know that. I was like so surprised when I went to Chicago, so. That was awesome. So anyways, okay, next product I've been really, really liking is hair color. I usually get my hair done at the salon, but recently I was like, let me try a box. And this right here caught my attention. This is from L'Oreal. Um, the color that I use is Cool Brown, Cool Medium Brown T5. Three. So I'll have that in the info box down below, but I get mine at Ulta, super inexpensive, and I really, really like it. Usually, even at the salon, whenever I get my hair done, after a few months, it fades, and it always fades into this coppery, orangey color that I don't like. But this right here, I dyed my hair about a little over a month now with this box dye, and this is it faded and it's not as coppery or orangey so I don't know I'm very impressed with it so I went ahead and bought another box dye I actually got two of these because I use two for my whole hair whenever I have to dye my hair it's just I have thick hair I have a lot of hair so yeah I really enjoy this I love it so much so that's that I know a lot of people don't like box dyes but this has worked for me and I'm not an expert so you know I don't want you guys to try it and then be disappointed, but to me, this works. I love it. I love the color that it gives me, and it just looks very natural to me. So that's what I've been using, and I'm going to be dyeing my hair really soon, so you guys will see it in like future videos. All right, so anyways, on to makeup, I have uh, a few lip products here that I've been loving. So this one is from It Cosmetics. It's the Genesis Qua. This is the lip balm. I had this before. But I didn't like it as much and I believe this is a whole new formula that they have now um, It's like even with like a new packaging and everything and I love this so much more than the old formula I don't know. I just feel like this isn't as 
I don't know, not, I wouldn't say it's sticky, but it just feels so much more comfortable on the lips. And I love the color that it gives you. Like, it's kind of tinted. It gives like the most flattering tint on your lips. Like depending on your lip color, it kind of adapts to that, if that makes sense. It's really good, you guys. I highly recommend it. It makes my lips feel really soft and hydrated and just moisturized all day long. So I really have been enjoying this. I love it a lot. All right, the lip cream of the month has got to be this guy right here. This is from Jouer. It's in the color Terra. And oh my gosh, I love this. I don't have it on right now, but this is the lipstick that I was wearing in like my past few videos. I just, I love this color. It's so, so, so beautiful. So yeah, from Jouer. Next, I have my Juicy Shaker from Lancome, and this is in the color Piece of Cake. I wear this too whenever I don't want to wear anything on my lips, but really want a lot of color, like a tint. So yeah, this is what I've been reaching out for. I really, really like it. So you can barely see it, but it gives your lips a little bit of a tint, and I love the Juicy Shakers from Lancome. They just feel so nice on your lips. They're very hydrating, you guys. I have two lip liners here that I've been kind of going back and forth with. These are from Makeup Forever. They are the High Precision Lip Liner liners and or lip pencils sorry and I have them in the color number 12 right here and this is number 11 and they are just so beautiful I love it so right now I actually have number 12 on my lips so this is number 12 you guys but this is number 12 right here right in the middle and this is number 11 so they are really pretty colors. I love wearing them on an everyday basis. They look really good. You can, you know, wear them underneath any of the lip glosses or lip creams that I showed you and it will look really good. I have two drugstore products that I'm obsessed with right now. They're both from L'Oreal not sponsored um but this is the voluminous feline mascara it is what i have on my lashes right now i really love it it's not clumpy or anything because i hate clumpy lashes but this does a good job on like separating them and making them look really long and full so i really like it and it doesn't like transfer anything like that it doesn't flake off over time so i really have been enjoying this one and this right here is the liquid liner from the same line the voluminous liner in noir i love this so much it's what i use today to wing to do this wing um i really like it um it doesn't smudge or anything it stays on all day um it has a very very fine tip so you can be really really precise so I've been really enjoying this and I love their packaging. Like it's so cute. So I've been using those two on an everyday basis. Okay, I have two powders that I'm obsessed with. Well, they're the same powders, just different colors. I really have been loving Japonesque or Japonesque. Um, I get mine from Ulta. And these are the Velvet Touch Finishing Powder. I have two of them, like I said. So this one is number two, which is my color right now for all over. I really love it. It just gives you a very natural finish. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a coverage, but not so much. And it doesn't look cakey. And I also have it in the color number four, which is this right here. It's what I use to bronze my face or contour my face. I really have been enjoying these so much. They're so good. And I got them on sale too at Ulta. Okay, next is a highlight from Makeup Forever. I love this. Look at that. Ugh. I used it and I'm obsessed and it's been my go-to ever since. So this is in the color number... I do not know. It just says number 9, but I believe this is the rose gold one. It's just so beautiful. It is what's on my cheeks right now, kind of. I have it on my... Cupid's bow for sure. And on my cheeks, I have this and I mixed it with, I mixed it with, um, with Lancome Amber Lights. Or no, Rose Gold Lights, sorry. So I mixed the two up. So these two right now is what's, that's what's on my cheeks right now and like on my nose area. But like on my Cupid's bow, it's only this one. So anyways, I'll just go ahead and show you this one from Lancome because it's so good. I just got it and I'm like obsessed. It's like really creamy um feeling like it's like a cushion like it's so bouncy that's what i'm trying to say i guess and look at that it swatches so beautifully so i don't know if you can see it but it's right there it's so beautiful it's hard to swatch can you see it i don't know but it's beautiful that's what it looks like it's what's 
on my cheeks right now as a highlight with the Makeup Forever Rose Gold. So pretty, you guys. All right, and the last makeup product that I wanted to share with you guys is actually a palette, and it is from Jouer. This is the Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I have been loving this so much. It, like, replaced all my other ones, so I'm like... Yes, this, this is it. This is this is perfect. I actually watch Christina on Snapchat like all the time. I love her so much. She's the owner of Jouer. She's been working on this for so long and I'm so excited to finally have it in my hands. It is just so beautiful. You can really tell that she looked into every single detail and you know just really made it to be that perfect palette that you would use on an everyday basis. So I'm just... I love this so much. It has every single color that you will need to create like that daytime look or even the nighttime look. So I'm very impressed with this palette. I love it a lot. And the value of this is not bad either. So if you're a beginner with makeup and you're looking for kind of like a higher end eyeshadow palette, I would definitely recommend this. It is so great. Again, the colors are just fantastic. They're very good quality. It's what I have on my eyes right now. And I also did a makeup look with this so i'll go ahead and link that for you but i love this you guys it's so gorgeous i love the palette the packaging the products inside amazing so that's everything that i've been loving beauty product wise like skincare and stuff like that so now on to everything else so i recently got this and i've been obsessed and you guys can probably tell like if you follow me on instagram or something it's always in a photo and I'm so sorry. It's just I'm so in love with it. I've been wanting this for the longest time. I was like debating of either getting it like pre-loved or new. But I ended up getting it brand new and I'm just so happy with it. My friend Jerry was actually in Italy and Paris recently. So she picked this up for me there and... Ugh, I'm so thankful because I love it so much. I really kind of wanted it in Dame Azur, but I figured that would get really dirty. In the monogram, I believe have a lighter, like a beige liner. So I decided to go with the Dame Ben because this has the like red lining, you know? So it's darker and you know, I don't know. It's just gonna get dirty, I feel like. So yeah, I love this so much. I keep it with me all the time. It just has um, my necessities in there that I would use, you know, would need. Uh, so I have a powder in there, pills, hand sanitizer, pens, pads, everything, everything. So this is always with me. Um, I even put like makeup in here too, like all my lippies and I don't know, lash glue. <laughs> so I just really love this piece. It's such an amazing piece. I wish I would have gotten it sooner. It's just so beautiful. Like I, I'm obsessed, you guys. Like I just want everything Louis Vuitton. I know that sounds so materialistic, but to me... I feel like if I worked hard for something, I want to treat myself and I want the best, you know, like the good, the best quality I can get, like for my hard earned money, if you know what I mean. So I just, I love it. And I love looking at Louis Vuitton on Instagram. So if you have an Instagram account and you love posting Louis Vuitton, please leave it down below and I would love to follow you and like look at your collection. I just love looking at them, I'm like obsessed. All right, another thing that I'm obsessed with are planners and you guys probably know this already because I've done like two planner hauls recently like one after another I feel like um so yeah I've been really obsessed lately um for a while I kind of like wasn't feeling very creative but recently I'm just like it just hit me and I'm just like buying everything and new things are coming out and it's just like so exciting I've been pretty active in the planner community recently and I love it I've been meeting so many people and making new friends and I'm actually exchanging with a lot of you um, for Christmas and Thanksgiving and I'm so excited I'm exchanging like pocket letters and flip books and I'm so excited it's just so much fun to actually get to know you guys so if you want to send me letters I will have my PO box down below I do write back so anyways right now I'm I'm really obsessed with my personal planner. This is what I use to keep track of all my expenses, budgeting, and all that stuff. I did a whole video all about this, so I will go ahead and link that for you down below. I did a video showing you what inserts I have in here, so that will be the first video linked below. And then I also did a video of how I decorated it, so that will be the second video linked down below. But yeah, so right now I'm just using my Louis Vuitton monogram um, agenda. And I'm thinking of switching it up to one of my web source pages really soon just for the holiday season. I want to do kind of like, I think I'm going to use my white one. White or rose gold? Let me know down below. And then you guys know I love my happy planner, but recently I'm like 
really really in love with it because I got this and it just looks so good I love that this is just like this I know it's fake leather but I want to say leather I don't know but I just love this cover it makes it look so nice and chic especially on your desk it's so beautiful and this is like my favorite part is like the pockets I just think it's so cute it adds more to it and it's just like it's just like your little planner heaven like when you open it up and you have everything that you need right there like oh my gosh it's so pretty so I'm just like really obsessed with it so I will go ahead and link that for you down below I did a video on this too so check it out all right so on to the tv shows or shows in general that I've just been loving so I did end up watching um another which is an anime um it's an older anime I believe and it's like one of those kind of scarier animes um another is so good I finished it in like two or three days yeah it's just it was really good definitely an eerie kind of scary anime so if you're into that you should definitely check it out um i like that more than shiki actually so i really love the storyline it was so good so definitely check that out right now i'm not watching any animes just because i haven't found one that i actually really enjoy um i started watching a few and then i was like eh, not really my thing so if you guys have any recommendations feel free to leave it as a comment down below i have to go through um what you guys told me last time too because there's a few that i didn't get to take a look at yet so i'm gonna have to do that next but other than that i've still been watching you know my normal tv shows here in the states lucifer definitely captured my heart the walking dead just you know recently started this season and i'm just like like i love it hate it at the same time because of the first episode that was like too much too many things going on the first episode so many different emotions if you follow me on twitter you would know what i'm talking about i was just like all over the place like fetal position crying just kidding i wasn't but i wanted to and the inside i was um but i love walking dead the second episode though i was like eh, okay a little weird um but i mean how can you even top the first one seriously so yeah, I'm still watching that though. I do, however, need to catch up on American Horror Story. I I think I stopped watching after the four, fourth or fifth episode. I'm not sure, just because I don't want to watch it while I'm alone at home. It's not a scary show, it's really not, but I would prefer to watch it when someone else is home. And I stopped watching, like I put it on pause because Tom was always away for work. So I didn't want to watch it all alone at my house. I don't know so I don't know I'm gonna have to like catch up on that I think I'm gonna start right after this video I'm gonna like watch the ones I haven't seen yet so that is that um another thing what else did I want to mention oh Supergirl I loved how the season started but now it's like so many freaking aliens I'm like what's happening so I don't know I'm like not loving it i'm not loving the past few episodes but i'm still watching it and the exorcist is it done is there like a break i don't know what happened last friday wasn't on because of the world series i believe so i don't know if it was just like for that day but i thought i don't know if it's like a break but exorcist is really good you guys should definitely check it out so if you guys have any tv show recommendations feel free to leave it as a comment down below i'm a always watching something i love watching tv shows um oh my gosh movies in a few weeks fantastic beast is coming out i'm so excited you guys like i cannot wait to watch that movie it's just i just already know it's gonna be so good oh my gosh please let me know i'm not the only one who's super excited about it because like ugh, i love watching harry potter so when they said that they're gonna do this movie i was just like yes um also what else oh i just recently watched girl on a train that was so good um it made me kind of depressed though like i was watching it yesterday and then afterwards i was just like that was so good and then like i just felt sad <laughs> 
<laughs> it was like the weirdest thing ever but it's such a good movie you guys should definitely check it out so that is pretty much it that's everything that i have been loving for the past month i hope you all enjoyed this video i'll have everything listed down below in the info box so check it out i'll try and link things too if i can but yeah thank you all so much for watching again i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give it a thumbs up it really helps out my channel subscribe if you haven't and please hit that little bell button that will notify you whenever i have new videos up because sometimes you know youtube is glitchy and i don't always pop up on the news feed or whatever so definitely hit that little bell so you can get notified and that's about it i love you guys so much oh i'm doing a giveaway on my blog right now so i will link that for you down below go join because yeah who doesn't want 50 dollars gift card for cvs I don't know, but that's it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!